What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review, another special expansion review. And today I'm very excited to check out Villains and Vigilantes, the Mind Over Matter expansion from GameSloop. This is for two to four players, ages 12 plus, so it'll take about 60 minutes to play. And this is an expansion to the Villains and Vigilantes card game. And it does not add any new mechanisms at all, just new cards. <sighs> In fact, there's not even a rule booklet in here because it literally is just new cards and new characters for you to play with. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let's open it up and I'll tell ya. Alright then, we're going to take a look at what should I get inside of the Villains and Vigilantes card game Mind Over Matter Expansions. First and foremost, we got our handy dandy rule booklet. Just kidding, there's no rule booklet at all because this game, uh, this expansion, adds no new maximum. It just adds new cards that you'll be able to immediately implement into the game. Uh, for better or for worse. So we'll go over what you're going to be getting. So you're going to be getting new characters and as per the original game you're going to have new standees and whatnot that will be moving all across the board. You're going to get three new heroes and villains you'll be able to use. You'll have Temper, Marionette, and Maxima. So you got one hero and two villains that you'll be able to play with. And then you're going to be getting more cards. And um, everything on the cards is pretty self-explanatory because as per the original game all, everything you need to know is in the text of the card. So you're going to be getting tons of new powers and new minor characters and new all that sort of stuff right there. And then you're going to be getting uh, new powers that go in front of you, the, uh, if you're familiar with the original game. And some of them will be repeats. In fact, a lot of them will be repeats, like on the move, which is actually one of my main cons that I have with this expansion, is that I don't feel like there's enough new cards and new things in this expansion. When I went through... Um, when I th went through all the cards and I was constructing decks and whatnot, I was like, wait, is this from the original game or is this from the expansion? It's hard to tell because a lot of them are the same, but I'll talk more about that in the pros and cons. Now, where the game does have a couple key differences and where I feel like it really shines, especially thematically, is with the new plot and mission cards. I particularly like the compact car. That's the one where you're just going to set down a car on a uh, particular spot, and then someone will eventually be able to, as long as they have the physical strength, will be able to go over there and throw it at someone to cause three damage, which is a lot of damage. Uh, I also like the, uh, what is it, yes, that, that special someone, this plot card, because this one is essentially going to make it so a character or a villain, a superhero or supervillain, is going to have a girlfriend or boyfriend, and when you do damage to their girlfriend or boyfriend, it's going to cause mind damage to that character, which is actually, you know, really thematic and cool, and I enjoy that. And there's even a mission card, there it is, the Where's Your Hero Now mission for the villains, that when you hurt the, uh, the the hero's girlfriend or boyfriend, then you will actually get, in addition to doing mind damage to them, you will also get a mojo, which uh, is how you win the game. Um, but that, in a nutshell, uh, is what you're going to be getting inside the Mind Over Matter expansion for Villains and Vigilantes. Alrighty then, Villains and Vigilantes, the Mind Over Matter expansion. What are my final thoughts? Let's go the pros, let's go the cons. First, on the con side, the game's not going to be for everybody. This is not going to change your mind. If you did not like the original Villains and Vigilantes, for one reason or another, this is not going to change your mind. Also, if you were hoping for more new, and I was, uh, this is not going to be for you. And what I mean by that is, I'm fine with an expansion that just adds cards, but it adds cool new things to the game. I love those kinds of expansions. So I was expecting this to be a slam dunk no-brainer, that it was just a big recommendation, absolutely get this. But it was not like that. And it was not like that because it was just too samey. They introduced two new super characters, but in doing so, they had to also include a lot of the cards you've already seen from previous games. And I was just wanting more new. I wanted them to stretch boundaries a little bit, and I don't feel like they did that. I mentioned in the middle part. The middle part was very short, because literally, I was like, alright, what are some of my favorite cards from this deck? And I was like, is that? I don't remember if that's in this version, or if it's also in that version. There were not enough new cards, and I was like, wowed by. And that's, that's a little bit of a downer if you're looking for that. Because I feel like the people who are going to get this are obviously going to be the people who want to do the deck construction in the game, which is great. If you want to do the deck construction, there are some cool new cards in here, but I just don't feel like there's enough. Like, if you really love this game, this is still a no-brainer. It adds new cards, it adds new heroes and new villains, all sorts of good stuff like that. All the same, you know, unique, funny flavor text and artwork is still intact here, but... I just wanted a little bit more. Moving on with the cons, any other cons I have with this? Not really didn't think of. That's the main one. There's no new mechanisms, and the new cards they do introduce just wasn't enough for me. Moving on to the pros, 
that's pretty simple. If you like villains and vigilantes, and if you enjoy the deck construction aspect of the game, this is a good expansion to get because it's going to add more cards. It's going to give you uh, more heroes. It's going to give you more side characters. It's going to give you more powers. It's going to give you more, 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 which is always good to add to a game that you really love. So if you love this game, get this expansion. If you don't love the game, then don't get the expansion. What about if you like the game? If you're straddling that middle ground, you're like, I like the game, but I don't love the game, then I'd say this is, meh. it's a maybe. It's, it really is. Because while it does add some cool new things to the game, I don't feel like it adds enough to warrant an insta-buy, which, which for me personally is most expansions. So this is an underwhelming expansion for me. Uh, when I rank this game, I'm actually going to rank it a little bit lower than the base game, just because I was a little bit disappointed with this expansion. But that being said, it is still more Villains and Vigilantes. So this has been my review for Villains and Vigilantes, the card game, Mind Over Matter, the expansion. If you enjoyed this video, please sure to click on the subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know, has there ever been an expansion that you were underwhelmed with? That you were super excited to get it, and you're like, oh. Uh, I'm trying to think. Really, most of the time, I'm super excited about expansions, and then they live up to my expectations. And being brutally honest, I have like my top 40 games. I'm getting ready to shoot my top 40 games of all time. I'm looking at all of these games, and I'm thinking about their expansions, and I like nearly every single one of their expansions. So, honestly, this is about the only one. So, um, congratulations. That's that's kind of a tough feat right there. But let me know in the comments below. Is there ever an expansion that you got that you were excited about that underwhelmed? But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.